In 2003, a 27-year-old woman presented to the emergency room after a 30-second seizure. Usually you regain consciousness after a seizure, but this woman didn't. The medical team found that she was massively dehydrated. She had bruises of all different colors all over her arms and legs. Some were healing, others were new. It's unusual for someone to just bump into so many different places over such a long period of time, so this suggested that someone was hitting her. Doctors did a scan of her head. The right and left hemispheres of the brain are connected by the corpus callosum. For this patient, it had severely atrophied. A meaning without, and trophy from Greek meaning nourishment. Her cerebellum and her brainstem had also withered away, and the damage was permanent. How did this happen? The word nourishment gives us the clue. Certain vitamins and minerals we have to get from our diet. Without them, some body parts can't be maintained. Public health efforts have eliminated most of the devastating ones. Fortified cereal have B vitamins and iron. Flour has niacin added to it. Regular vegetables, fruits, and juices have vitamin C. If someone is still not getting enough of these particular vitamins, then maybe their body isn't absorbing them. That happens in celiac disease, IBS, but nothing was wrong with this woman's gut. Nutritional deficiencies can stem from substance misuse and excess alcohol, but this patient had none of those in her system, and doctors couldn't resuscitate her. At autopsy, her nerves were looked at under a microscope. Her brain cells were frantically trying to make proteins because they had been damaged, but because they didn't have the right nutrients available, in this case, vitamin B3, also known as niacin, they weren't able to function properly. At five foot six, this woman was only 55 pounds. When police caught up with the family, they found out what happened. This woman's parents were siblings. This woman wasn't eating, not because she didn't want to, but because the mom had put her in the attic of the house, didn't let her out. The bruises that were seen weren't the woman bumping into anything, it was the mom doing it. And the police took the mom away. 